was great! Uh, Terry, to swim, you actually need to be in the water. You scared me. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Macaroni, for showing us how to make fresh pasta. Whatever can we do to thank you? Oh, <laughs> what nice children you are. Well, what would make me very happy is if you cooked a special dish. Oh, yeah. Excellent idea. We'll do that for sure, right, guys? Yay! That's perfect. I'll see you later, children. Have a good day. Uh... Any idea for a special dish for Mrs. Macaroni? Quick! Huh? Fast! Copper Pot's at the bakery! We have to stop him! Hurry! Oh. <gasps> ah. <gasps> <gasps> well, now, what's up with you children? Why the big hurry? Because of Copper Pot, Miss Frizzella, he's attacking the bakery! Copper Pot? But he's not here. <laughs> oh, boy, you should have seen your faces. It's too funny. <laughs> Zip, quit laughing. <laughs> All right, guys, it was just a joke. Okay, okay, children. Truly, Grandma's calling you. Here is Grandma's famous book. Which is the recipe we should cook? Hello there, wizard chefs. Hi, Hi truly, truly Grandma. Grandma. Truly Grandma, we need to make a special dish to thank Mrs. Macaroni. We want to thank her by making her something, something... <laughs> I'm Copper Pot, and I've come to steal the magic cookbook. <laughs> oh, come on, enough's enough already. What? That's a good imitation of Copper Pot. <sighs> Oh, Stella, I have exactly what you need. But be sure never to forget. Calling for help with no danger in sight, and you'll end up alone when there's a real fright. Over and out. Linguini with cuttlefish ink sauce. Uh, we're gonna eat ink? <laughs> Not just any ink, Sip. Look, the cuttlefish is a marine animal that shoots ink when it senses danger. That's how it protects itself. And that's the only type of ink we can cook with. You'll see, it's really delicious. So hop to it. Wands at the ready. Oh, I see. Well, it's like I always say. Appearances can deceive, but if you look twice, you might be pleased. Now, get cracking, wizard chefs. Over and out. Crazy carrot muffins it is! Let's cook! Oh, wait. We can't use these carrots. They're a little bit weird, don't you think? Carrots always look a bit funny, Stella. That makes them really cool to me. But look, these ones are ugly. They're bad. I would really prefer good-looking ones, guys. Okay, Stella. I bet there are good ones at Mr. Tomato's shop. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> With this magic potion, I'm gonna give life to this carrot and turn it into a hideous, bad, scary... carrot. <laughs> Daddy? No, no, he is! <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Yay! Let's play, let's play, let's play! Uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's play, find all the cookbooks in the village, and bring them to me. Yay! Um, 
Why? Because cookbooks have lots of yummy recipes in them. Yay! <laughs> Why? Because cookbooks teach people how to cook, so there are lists of ingredients and instructions on how to mix and cook them properly. Yay! Why? <sighs> because cooking and eating delicious food is fun. Fun? Yay! I better watch this carrot closely. Let's go. Come on, Athenina. That's better. These carrots are good because they look good and are all the same. Oh! Hey, is that a carrot? Uh oh. Look, it's making sense. Oh, my cookbook. Stop. That looks just like a bad carrot I threw into the compost heap. What's it doing? Let's find out. Here comes your crazy carrot! Thanks, Mrs. Poodle. I'd never seen a whistle like that. Hey, did you see that, guys? It's a special whistle that only dogs can hear. Pretty neat, huh? Have a nice day, children. Come, Rico. Zip, remember we were supposed to pick zucchini flowers? But we're not gonna do it all on our own. You need to come help. No problem, I'm on it. Just after I put my stickers in my scrapbook. Hey, look, I have a collector card of Giulio Risotto. It's super rare. No, Zip. We have to go now. Yeah, yeah. J just a couple of more minutes. <gasps> now stop that. Enough. That was Miss Frizella. Come on. Naughty cat. Wow, that's a really huge cat. And really hideous. Don't you think it looks like Copper Pot? Hey, those are my cookbooks. Leave them alone. <laughs> Look, could that be Copper Pot's owl by any chance? Hey, then that cat's really Copper Pot! And he's in the bakery! Oh no! The magic cookbook! Mm, no! Mashed potatoes, I knew it! You knew it and you didn't tell us? Well, uh, I was busy. Zip! Oh, okay, you're right. I should have listened to Truly Grandma's advice. Doing your work in time will make your dish sublime. That means I should have warned you right away instead of waiting. Yeah, you should have. But now we need an idea to get rid of this copper cat. Fast! This copper cat? Of course. It's a cat. I have an idea. I'll be right back. No, not that book. Let's get out of here, Athenina. We have enough books for now. They're taking the book. Quick! There! Nice try, but I'm way too agile for you, shrimps. <laughs> oh, yeah? Then take this, hideous copper cat. Us? Huh? Oh no, I missed. He's just too fast. Quick, he's getting away. We have to stop him. Zip, a tornado, quick. Zip, zip. Ah, uh, where'd he go? Son, Stella, you're with me. Nothing can stop me now! Oh, no! No! We need another idea! I've got it, guys! No time like the present! <gasps> A cat! Huh? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> hey, Terry! Look! Wow, though, you look gorgeous! I know, right? Hey, what's up, Stella? Look, it's my hair. It's way too short. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. It's very pretty and is a nice change. Yeah, that's a cool new hairdo, Stella. It's nice of you to say so, guys, but I know my hair's way too short. It's short, oh. that's true, but it's a nice change. I like it. Hmm. Oh, I wish my hair was the same as before. Ah, oh, truly Grandma's calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two hairs from a woolly plant? Hmm. Three hairs from a fuzzy glowworm? There. Now, for the most important ingredient. 
<laughs> it's ready. <laughs> Admire my genius, Athena. Beard powder. Perfect for growing an amazing red beard in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Is believing. You asked for it. <laughs> well, another failure. Huh? And I kept my beak shut. <laughs> nice beard, Athenina. When all the villagers grow a lovely red beard like me, I'll be able to walk into the village and no one will recognize me. I'll be able to search the entire village in peace. And the magic cookbook will be mine. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is the most ridiculous plan ever. Hello, wizard chefs. Ready to cook? changed your hair, Stella. It's very pretty. Well, I don't think so. I want my hair to be like before. Oh, I see. It'll grow back eventually. And in the meantime, to the kitchen. Truly, Grandma's waiting for you.